one of those gloomy Mondays and you know what? Tomorrow is going to be another gloomy one for us as well. We're tracking some showers, even a few thunderstorms as we continue into the overnight hours. These showers just off to our south, working into Patrick County, just south of Stewart right now, moving in that northeasterly fashion where it's going to be uh, right around Blackberry, right around uh, 12 o'clock or rather midnight, a little after midnight right near Martinsville. And it looks like we do have the showers still working to the north and east, working into with county and these are not expected to be severe tonight. Although a lot of this activity has been kind of blossoming along this boundary that's been situated nearby over the past few days. It is expected to lift on out of here as a warm front and then a cold front, a trailing cold front will be bringing us some uh, strong storms come Tuesday. You can see out ahead of that boundary. Some of those have been warned. And that is the history with this system. So as we continue into the overnight hours, we will see a hit or miss shower. Even a thunderstorm will be possible, and that's going to be the case through the three o'clock hour. Heavy rainfall is possible at times. We can see these pockets, especially south of the Roanoke Valley and also towards south side. By the time you wake up seven o'clock Tuesday morning, a hit or miss shower may be around even a little bit of a drizzle too. We are definitely going to be under the clouds, much like what we had today as well. The time frame that we're watching later in the afternoon, I think lunchtime we're still pretty good as far as severe weather is concerned. We're just looking at scattered or hit and miss showers, maybe even a few thunderstorms too. It's out ahead of that boundary by about three, four o'clock in the afternoon. We could get a stronger thunderstorm going and we're not looking at widespread severe weather. It looks like five, six, seven or eight isolated severe storms will in fact be possible. And we've been talking about the potential for some hail, some damaging wind gusts and some very heavy rainfall will in fact be possible with some of these storms. Six o'clock, the potential will still be there across portions of the area by the time nine o'clock rolls around. I think it's going to start to really outrun its dynamics and by midnight, we're really starting to clear things out across the board except for portions of the western slopes and highlands. They could see some lingering rain showers, especially through Wednesday, while the rest of us will be under partly cloudy and significantly drier conditions too. But what are we watching for? This is again Tuesday afternoon and evening. We have a high potential of seeing lightning also the isolated flood threat too. We're looking at localized flash flooding, wind damage. Yes, it's there. Large hail. That's a possibility too. The threat for tornadic activity is low at this time. And again, that's Tuesday afternoon and evening. Right now, temperatures for many of us in the 70s. We have 73 in Roanoke, 70 in Blacksburg and 72 in Martinsville. Do you like those temperatures? Well, how about those for highs? We're looking at that towards the middle of the work week. And as we round out the end of the work week, highs will be in the 70s and even lower 80s with significantly lower humidity levels. Leftover shower storm fog does set up shop late tonight. Temperatures only falling into the 60s to near 70 degrees. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms and again, isolated severe storm will be possible, especially from about 3 o'clock to about 9 o'clock. High temperatures expected to top out in the 80s. Low 80s on the way for Wednesday. It'll be a bit on the breezy side. Some mountain rain showers will be possible. Tuesday or Thursday, Friday and Saturday rather looking absolutely fabulous. Highs will be in the 70s, lower 80s, feeling like fall. If you enjoy that word fall, you're in luck.